guys, welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. Go grab yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee or a cold beverage if that's what you prefer because today we are going to do a really long haul video. Hashtag sorry not sorry. I have finally gotten like everything that I ordered um, on or around Black Friday. That has finally arrived to me. It was very very kindly sent to me or forwarded to me from Louis who <laughs> did the best job at sending me stuff this time. It was amazing. I didn't even have to go through customs, which was really, really amazing. And she, she like gift wrapped everything. <laughs> so uh, apparently that uh, threw off the customs from this package because it, it said Christmas presents uh, and then everything was wrapped up night, nice and neatly. And I had to recruit like my mother, my sister and my nephew yesterday to unwrap all the packages. We had a lot of fun. It was like Christmas. I mean, we had a little after Christmas, Christmas celebration and then we had a little fun in the afternoon unwrapping all the goodies that were in my package. Uh, and I also want to mention that um, Louis <laughs> threw in a lot of stuff for my cats uh, and the cats especially love the catnip toy that um, apparently Louie and her mom make themselves, which is amazing. The cats love it. They don't get to play with them too, too often. You know, they're like little junkie cats. Once you get, give them the catnip, um, they go all crazy, but they love it. So thanks, Louie, for that. Um, there will be, I think, seven parts to this haul. So like I said, sit tight. And if you're not into long videos, you might want to click away now while you've still got a chance or like skip forward through it. Um, maybe I'm just going to leave down in the description, you know, where each part of the haul begins with the brands uh, so that you can just, you know, jump to where you want to watch. So let's head into this. Okay, so the first part of this haul is actually stamping related because I did some shopping at Bundle Monster. I can't remember, I really can't remember the specific deal that they had, but it was a pretty good deal, especially on the starter sets. Uh, and they also had like a few free gifts that I'm gonna show you later on. Um, but since I had everything sent to Louis, this is the first time that I was actually able to buy something with polishes. Oops, I probably should show the right side. Um, uh, that I was able to order something with polishes from Bundle Monster because Bundle Monster does not ship polishes abroad, which is a bummer. And it's getting harder and harder to ship polishes. I don't know if you've experienced that, but um, Louis and Ilza both told me that in the US the, the postal service is going haywire about, um, or haywall, whatever, um, about polishes if you put that on the declaration, what's in the package. And the same thing happened to me here in Germany even. I tried to send Louis some polishes like twice now and the package got rejected and sent back to me twice. So. I don't know what's up with that. It's stupid AF. It's I I there's no reason for not wanting to transport nail polishes like on an airplane because have you ever heard of an like exploding airplane because of nail polish in it? I haven't. Let me know if you have, but it's just so stupid and I hate it so much. And it's ruining like not ruining, but it's like bad for like small companies like Bundle Monster who are still a small like family run company. So, Ramblich, Ramblich. So I did buy one starter set that comes with, I think a couple of polishes and a stamping plate and yada, yada, yada. And I bought uh, a polish kit and I also bought a bundle of plates. And then I got, oh, and I did buy the Bundle Monster um, smudge free top coat also. And I got two free gifts. I've got, I think, I didn't buy this one. So I think it's a gift, <laughs> uh, like these cuticle tapes that you can use and most of the time reuse uh, to protect your nails while you're doing stamping. And I also got like one free Lotus mini mat, which I don't really have use for because I already got like two or three <laughs> uh, nail art mats and I don't really use them that often either. Um, only just to protect my workspace really. <laughs> I haven't worked with a nail art mat in years. So this one will go into a giveaway for, uh, let, let's say, the thousand subscribers, as will this, because I have no use for these either. So those are the free gifts. Let's look at the stuff. Um, like I said, I bought the no, no smudge, no smudge free top coat from Bundle Monster. A lot of people suggested that to me in the, you know, what's the best top coat for stamping video, and I will test this one out. Probably not going to do a video on it, because, you know, it's not like a new or earth shattering product. I'm just gonna, you know, figure out if this is as good as my Yaquin on or the Born Pretty Store um, 
top coat that came out recently. But I wanted to give it a chance. Um, and then I bought a uh, plate set which, well, is winter or Christmas themed. It's the Nutcracker set. Comes with four, uh, gee, I always say four. It comes with five plates as those bundle monster bundles usually do. Um, but I do think that you can use this like not only around Christmas time, especially this one as I'm looking at it. Um, there's like some, um, yeah, like those ballerinas and the mu the music sheet, the sheet music. Jeez, woman, I can't talk today. Um, there's a few things that you can use for other purposes as well. That was, by the way, BMXL 312. Next up, we've got BMXL 213. This one is very clearly like wintry themed um, and has a lot of cool patterns and free stamping areas and these ballerina ladies. Very nifty. Then we've got BMXL 314. This one is like a Candyland experience, so you can probably blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you can probably use it all year round. You've got some cute cupcakes and, and like cake pops and lollipops, and yeah, also some dancing ladies because this is themed off of the Nutcracker, which is a ballet. <laughs> A ballet. <laughs> then we've got Nutcracker BMXL 315. Wow, I skipped 11. I'm going to show you that one later because uh, they were in the wrong order. This is also partly like Christmas themed with the ornaments up here. But then this area down here, I think you can use um, pretty much all the time. I like these like doodly... Uh, almost tentacle thingies. I like those a lot. Uh, and now we've got BMXL311. Uh, and this one, as you can clearly see, is a Christmas plate, but Christmas comes around every year, so, you know, it's it's not completely a waste of time. Um, do let me know if you want to see anything of this Nutcracker series swatched, because it is one of the newer things that came out from Bundle Monster. Um, I'm happy to swatch them for you on the channel. And then next up, like I said, it is the first time that I actually bought polishes from Bundle Monster, and I left them in the package in case you have never bought uh, like a um, like a nail polish set from them. So I can show you how neatly and nicely they are packaged. They come in this like styrofoam um, packaging and they're like in there really, really tight. You can see the colors on the bottom and then you just have to remove it like so. That's so easy, isn't that nice? I like that. I like it a lot. And I'm gonna remove that one, maybe, yes. Yes, that's working. So this set was called Grimm's, hold on. Uh, Grimm's Nightfall, and these are all metallic-y um, stamping polishes, which I do not own a lot of. Believe it or not, I have like a whole drawer of stamping polishes, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't uh, have any metallic ones. Um, yeah, and the things that I've heard and seen about Bundle Monster uh, stamping polishes is good, um, so I thought I would give it a chance because uh, I was able to send this to Louis. So first up, we've got a Dearest Aurora, which is almost like a multi-chrome thing going on, like purpley pink and some gold reflections in there. And then we have Wolfish, uh, and this one is just a straight up red, like a burgundy red uh, metallic polish. And then we have a Gretel Brittle, oh jeez, <laughs> uh, which is like a purpley, um, and metallic stamping polish. And next up, we've got this blue one. Maybe it, they're not multi-chrome, they just need to be shaken. I think that's what, what they need. They need to be shook. Uh, anyway, this blue one is called Glass Slipper. So they are all themed around Grimm's um, fairy tales. Grimm's Märchen, as we say here in Germany, because the brothers Grimm were Germans, apparently, and all of the like folk tales they rec re recorded were basically like German folklore. So next up we've got Soulless, which is a golden metallic stamping polish. And last not least, we have this one, which is like a gunmetal gray. Um, and this one is called Mira Mira. Maybe it's supposed to be like a silver. I'm going to shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. Uh, yeah, but it still looks more like a gunmetal thing, which is nice. I like that. I, I don't mind that one bit. I have like a silvery polish. Remember the caption polish, for example. So this one is a nice change. So that's six Bumble Monster stamping polishes. Yay, finally! 
and the last thing that I did actually like buy from Bottle Monster was this set because they had like a really cool deal on these nail stamping kits. Um, like I said, if I can find it, I'm gonna list it on screen or in the description so you can, you know, see um, what deal I got. It comes with two stamping plates, two stamping polishes and a stamper. And again, it is very neatly packaged. It is actually so neatly packaged that I was not able to get this out and I needed to recruit my husband to get this out like the first time around and then I made the mistake of repackaging. Ah, hold on. So it comes also with this like styrofoam or foam packaging and then you can just, <laughs> just, you know, squeeze or push them out like so. And this can now go. Bye bye. All right, so like I said, stamper, a little scrapey dude, uh, two stamping plates and two polishes. Whoa, I blanked out there for a second. We've got this blue one, which is called Crystallize. It's a cream stamping polish. And then we have Freedom Ring, which is a silver metallic one um, that is like actually silver if you compare it to the one from the Grimm's collection that's called Miro Miro and this one is like really really silvery as opposed to this one that's more like grayish gunmetal gray and also these bottles are smaller these ones are seven milliliters and these ones are unreadable 13 milliliters so almost double the size in the regular like um set uh but you know the deal on these was very sweet and uh it also came with two stamping plates that i don't have um so i snatched it up and the two plates that came with this set are winter kingdom bmx l485 and winter kingdom bmx l482 again wintery themed you've got a lot of like snowflakes and snowflake patterns or yeah patterns like that going on um icicles and, and things like that even though i think that you can use like these like gemstone looking things all year round i think you could get away with that and not just use them for winter time so that was my bundle monster haul again if you want to see anything swatched uh even like those stamping polishes i'm probably going to do a video on those because i want to try them out and i want to show them to you guys if you've never worked with bundle monster stamping polishes but if you want to see anything else swatched just let me know down below okay let's move on real quick to something that i didn't actually buy that but that was like still sent to me from uh louis and she again <laughs> put everything into these baggies and put like these little descriptions on it. It was so nice and I had so much fun and like like I said it was a whole family affair. We had so much fun unwrapping all these Christmas presents. Um, yeah it was like an afternoon filling activity where we sat and unwrapped everything and removed the bubble wrap and my nephew had so much fun playing with the bubble wrap and it was so noisy but still fun. So these sinful colors were sent to me by Louie as a gift. Thank you Louie. And again, she spoiled our cats. They have so many cat treats now and they love those catnip uh, mice that uh, Louis sent over. So we've got a few, I think all of them are toppers. Yes, yes, toppers, toppers. I think so. I think all of them are toppers. Uh, first up, let's look at the obvious choice. I freaking love bar glitters as you may know by now. Uh, and these are, I have, there's like three of them. Um, they're called tinsel toppers. They're limited edition. Uh, this one just has hollow, just has hollow um, little bar glitters. Then we have one with iridescent bar glitters. I freaking love bar glitters. And we have one um, that has like red and uh, green bar glitters. Uh, this one is called hashtag Elfie. The one with the iridescent flakies is called In My Igloo. And then, yeah, I'm doing the thing again. <laughs> and the hollow one is called Tinsel Time. The uh, one with the red and green reminds me a lot of a pretty serious polish that I have. Um, it's this one, which is called Elm Street, which was a, I think, Halloween at Christmas or something. Um, collection that she did but this one is more like muted and this has like uh, more vibrant colors but I'm glad to have them because I freaking love bar glitters I love bar glitters hashtag 
spark a little love. Uh, and then we've got uh, two that are also from a limited edition called Smashing Flex. I'm not sure if these are toppers or if they get opaque on their own, but I shall figure that out. This blue one has a bunch of silver glitters and iridescent glitters and shredded iridescent particles in there and is called Smash Hit. And this one that comes with a clear base. There's hollow in this one. I don't think... I think this one doesn't have hollow, just iridescence. But this one also has a little bit of hollow going on... Question mark? Maybe? I don't know. But a lot of iridescent flakies, like shredded flakies and glitter particles. And this one is called Out With A Bang. And last and certainly not least, we have this one. Look at it. It's also a limited edition glitter and it has... Um, I suppose what is like almost like a clear base um, with like gold and red shimmer going on. Yeah, it's a clear base. This is really pretty. This is gonna look like so nice over a nude base. And then it has these like golden, um, yeah, shredded glitter particles in there. And it looks like, I don't know, it looks so, so intriguing with that red shimmer going on in it. It's called Pop the Cork. I suppose that this is like a New Year's Eve thing. All right, moving on to a brand that is new to me or that is like fairly new on the market and uh, that I kept seeing on Instagram and finally when they had like um, a deal on Black Friday also I snatched this one. I'm not sure if it was a Black Friday deal. I'm gonna find out and put it on screen or in the description. The brand is called Color Infinity. <laughs> Aren't those little labels so cute? Infinitely colorful. Um, I was surprised. I was very surprised because can we all take a look at these bottles? These teeny tiny bottles. <laughs> they are small. Yes, small. I was really surprised. I was surprised at the price. I was surprised at the price that these had. They were really affordable and I was like, wow! That's a cool indie brand because they're they're making their like uh, initial collection so affordable. But the reason is that all of these are like only I think eight milliliters is what uh, I found out afterwards. <laughs> but um, I don't really care. They're cute nonetheless. And when have I ever used up like an entire bottle of something? Probably never, except for like black and white, which I use for like a base color often and like top coats. Everything else I have never like emptied completely. So I'm not really mad. I'm just really surprised. But I do appreciate the bottle shape. It's a really nice bottle shape. Um, and the print uh, on here isn't really print. It's like, ooh, wow, it has been like um, cut from a sticky foil and then stuck on here or printed on there. I'm not sure. Really, really neat. So it has a little bit of, you know, tactile finish to it. Comes with little labels on the bottom. Yeah, so I do believe that this is like the initial collection. She does one collection every month. Um, and this one, I can't remember what it was called. But I'm going to put it on screen. It's been so long. It's been so, so long since I ordered these that I, I can't even remember. But all the swatches that I saw of these um, online or namely on Instagram were like so amazing that I had to snatch these. And there's like two, four, six, eight polishes in this like initial collection. All right. So let's run through the Color Infinity um, collection real quick. First up, we've got chrome wheels. And boy, oh boy, don't I love <laughs> multi-chrome hollow polishes. I just adore them. Ever since uh, Phoebe came out with that shapeshifter, I've been hooked on this like combo. Let me get more light. I've been hooked on this combo because I think it's so, so amazing to have like a multi-chrome base and then hollow on top, like the polish I'm wearing today, which is um, by Bee's Knees Lacquer. This is the Fuck Cancer polish. They did a limited edition and I love it. Um, so this one is also like multi-chrome blue to purple to green. And then it has a strong linear hollow in there and it's called Chrome Wheels. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna unscrew and we're gonna sniff. <laughs> And look at the formula also. And the formula on this one looks like really, really promising. It looks, it doesn't look runny or thin and it looks like jam packed with pigment and hollow. So let me smell. Huh. Ooh, very pleasant smell. It smells like polish, but not too pungent. <laughs> Maybe I should do like a challenge, like smell my polish, guess the brand by smelling the polish. Um, 
Yeah, I think I've asked you guys if you do that from time to time, and somebody said that she also smells all of her polishes. <laughs> it's weird, but I do it. Uh, next up, we have this yellow one, which is so pretty. It's called In Bloom, uh, and it has a yellow cream base, but then there's like uh, iridescent glitter in there because it shifts from like purple to green. Does the camera even pick that up? Pick, pick that, does it pick that up? Let me zoom, maybe that helps. Okay, no focus. There you go. Now you can see it. Look at this shimmer. That's such a nice combo. It's also such a weird polish to come out with in winter, but I love it. You know that I don't believe in like wintry colors and stuff like that. If you want to wear yellow in winter, you go ahead and do that. Next up, we've got an orange, and this is just a straight up cream. It's like a really nice, um, like creamsicle orange, orange creamsicle color. Um, it has a lot of white in it, so it's not like a neon orange. Really, really pretty, and it's called Pleased as Pumpkin Pie. Then we have one of two pink polishes in here. Um, this one is called the DIY Glitter Slime, which is funny. Uh, it has like a magenta um, metallic base, and then there's also some shimmer in it that I can see that you probably... Oh yeah, you can kind of see it here in that corner of the bottle. Uh, and then some uh, scattered hollow. You can also see that. Wow, camera, you're doing a good job today. Thanks, camera. Next up, we have Somewhere in the Clouds. And this is the color that got me like really, really interested in this brand, because I saw like a live swatch of this. Uh, and it's such a light color and it's so delicate, but it still looked so, so pretty. I don't know what it is about like gray polishes that I like so much. I don't know. This one is called, did I already say that? It's, it's called Somewhere in the Clouds. Uh, and it has a very, very light gray base uh, and then also some shimmer going on that you can see here and here uh, and also some scattered hollow. Really, really pretty. I like this one a lot. Uh, and then uh, next up, we've got Wrapped in Autumn. Um, this one is hard to describe. Oh boy. it. I think it's a multi-chrome base and there's like some copper and gold going on. And then there's like shredded um, multi-chrome flakies in there. And if I look at it through the viewfinder, it almost looks like brown, but I think it's just a copper. And I think that the base color must be like tinted. Yeah, it's like a tinted brown base and then there's like multi-chrome pigment and multi-chrome flakies in there. Really, really pretty. I love, I love all of these colors. That's why I got the whole shebang. Uh, next up, we've got Pink Forest. This one, um, at first I thought, wow, this looks exactly like the 9-0 polish from her uh, like, what was it called? Smoothie Bar collection. The Swan, namely, but it's uh, apparently this one is more like muted down. Uh, and this one does not have like matte glitters in it. No, these are multi chrome flakies. And I just love the color, like the, not the color, the, the combo of a cream polish and then those shredded particles in there. Ah, I love it. Always reminds me of a certain type of ice cream that we have here in Germany that probably nobody else knows. It's called Straziatella uh, and it's just milk um, ice cream, not even vanilla, just plain milk ice cream and then it has um, chocolate, most of the time dark chocolate in there, like chopped up and it looks like this if this were a white base. It's so yummy, I love it, and sometimes you get these giant chunks of uh, chocolate in it, and that's the best day ever, while well, it was in my childhood. <laughs> okay, so that was my little childhood tale for today. And last and certainly not least, we have Edible Glitter. And this one has, I can't even determine if this is like a purple or a blue or a blurple, blurple, a blurple, or maybe it's even like a periwinkle. No, no, it's too dark for periwinkle. Anyway, so it's either a blue or a purple base. It's metallic. It has, there's um, red, red hollow glitters or something in there. And there's a lot of like linear hollow pigment in there. That's a very nice combo. I like this a lot. And I can't wait to play around with these and I'm gonna for sure swatch these on my channel so you can check out this new brand uh, and see if you like anything from them. Like I said, these eight milliliter bottles are reasonably priced. Um, yeah, and she's coming out with another collection in January. She's gonna do like one collection every month. 
let's move on to the next. Okay, the next one is a big one. <laughs> uh, it also comes in a very large Ziploc bag. And <laughs> ah, I love your puns, Louis. I really do. Um, she wrote, these pretties may leave you all shook up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm all shook up because these are all from all mixed up lacquers uh, and I bought again a whole entire collection and then she had a very very intriguing duo or tree for trio it was a trio for Black Friday which are thermals that change from black to three other colors like you know one each I'm gonna show them to you I'm also gonna swatch them and those <laughs> looked so amazing. The trio was called Fulja because, you know, it's it's black and then it turns to a different color when, uh, you know, the temperature changes. I love thermals. <sighs> There's so many things in the nail art world that I love. So I have grouped the polishes, more cat hair, uh, into their respective groups. First up, we've got one that is like a solo polish. This is the Black Friday um, exclusive polish that she came out with. It's called Super Shopping Badass Black Friday Limited Edition 2017. It's a multi-chrome um, and it has glitter, to, like multi-chrome glitter particles to match it, which is really neat. Really neat. Let's look at the formula. Smell it, of course. Smell it. Look at the phone. Whoa! Look at this. This looks very promising to be like a one coater or something because it's so thick. Maybe not a one coater, but like a solid good two coater. And it smells pleasantly like polish. Very good. So, next up, we've got the trio that I was referring to in the intro to this part of the haul. This is the Fulgia trio. All of these are thermals. I just, every time I say thermal, I'm thinking of. Thermit, <laughs> which is like, you know, a Jenna Marbles thing. One of her dogs is called Kermit. And anyway, I'm, that's on my mind when I say thermal. <laughs> my mind works in wondrous ways. So there's three polishes in here. They've all got like exceptionally funny names and they're all, like I said, thermals <laughs> that look almost black uh, when they are warm or cold or I don't know we're gonna figure that out uh, but they're actually like three different colors and they all have scattered hollow um, glitter in there also first up we've got another black polish not <laughs> really neat I'm gonna try to warm this one up in my hand as we speak or as I speak so we can find out uh, what the thermal transition is or I'm just going to put like um, a picture of the trio on screen if I can still find it. Next up, we've got plain green polish, <laughs> smirking smiley. So this one uh, obviously looks like black and then turns to a nice green. And last in the trio, we've got, <laughs> just kidding, it's blue. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so hilarious. Uh, and... These I saw, I, I haven't looked at her or I hadn't looked at her store for a while. And then this trio just popped up on my Instagram feed. And I'm like, what? What? What is happening? Thermals that look black and turn to colors? I have to have these. And I actually went and saved it like with that little flag. You can save stuff on Instagram to look at it later. And I did that and I um, set like a timer because she was having an awesome Black Friday deal also. Uh, and I snatched these for a really, really good price. I like. Yeah, like. And the last thing I got is a collection which is called the Touch of Magic collection. Um, it's a seven, seven piece collection. Um, and the like the makeup of these polishes is pretty much the same across the board. You've got a cream. Is it a cream base? I think it's like a metallic base. Or it could be a cream that looks metallic because of all of the things that are going on. So you've got your base and then you've got scattered hollow. You've got shredded flakies and shimmer going on in all of these. Which is amazing. It's adoring. It's it's so pretty. <sighs> I don't know what it is about those shredded glitter particles that just gets me. Maybe it's the same thing that attracts me to those um, uh, bar glitters. I don't know. I like that. So first up, we've got a damn poison. And as you can see, she also got always has the collection uh, on the bottom, which I appreciate very much because sometimes I can't remember where things are from or, you know, what the collection was called. But in this case, it's on the bottom of the bottle, so I can remember. Uh, this one comes with a pink base. And like I said, 
And they are all constructed or like put together in the same fashion. So you've got your pink base, you've got scattered hollow, and then you've got those shredded multi-chrome flakies that are shifting, I think, from a purple to a red or coppery thing. We shall see once I swatch it. Next up, we've got a green polish, which is, which is called Dancing Sprites. This one has a green base and the same like uh, ingredients in there, even though the shredded glitters in this one appear to be a bit smaller, which I don't mind. They're still there. Um, let's look at the formula real quick. Ooh, yep. That's definitely one of her cream bases. Um, and I did like the collection that I swatched last time. I, I liked it, or, or like the first time around. I liked that a lot. So next up, we've got this one, which is called Glittery Pumpkin Guts. It's <laughs> basically what this looks like, right? It's very similar to that Color Infinity polish. Like the base color, oops, is really, really similar. But this one, of course, has the shredded um, multi-chrome flakies and the scattered hollow in it which the Color Infinity does not have. That's just a straight up cream. Really pretty, really pretty. And all of the bottles are, I believe, 15 milliliters. 15, I think this, this bottle size is 15. Next up, we've got a purple, uh, which is called Power of the Stones. Pfft. I don't know. I have to read up what this Touch of Magic collection is alluding to, because up until now, I cannot think of like a movie or anything that this refers to. Power of the Stones does remind me of Outlander, a book that I have been reading for one and a half years and I just cannot finish the first effing book. I cannot. I have it on my nightstand and every time I, I go to take a bath I read a few pages and then it's it's really upsetting. It upsets me because the story is it was really good in the beginning and then it turned it had a turning point for me at least and now I can't finish it. I have like 20 pages left but I just I, I can't. And I bought like the whole series because I thought this would be great to take to Scotland and read there. Uh, and then I started reading the first book and that turning point happened and I just I can't. So touch of the no power of the stones reminds me of Outlander. Uh, it has a purple base, same thing, shredded uh, multi-chrome flakies and hollow going on. Uh, next up, we've got one with a blue base that is called Bibbidi Bobbidi Blue Blank. Bibbidi Bobbidi Blue Bibbidi Boop. I don't know. <laughs> blue boop. <laughs> I really don't know why there's like stars in here. Please enlighten me in the comments if there's like a joke that I'm not getting. I'm foreign, you know? <laughs> so same thing, very nice hue of blue with those shredded multichromes and uh, the strong scattered hollow going on. Then we have one of those pretty ugly colors that I love so much. It's called Cabin in the Woods. That's a movie. I know that. Um, and this one it seems to have not only like scattered hollow, but I, I did mention that all of these pr pretty much have shimmer in there. But in this one you can really see the shimmer. You know, if I, sh if I turn it you see this like reddish shimmer going on. And then there's the shredded um, multi-chrome flakies and it has this really nice color of brown. That's like, it's, it's so pretty. It's a pretty ugly color. It's the only way that I can describe it. And last and certainly not least, we have a gray polish. Yes, yes. Which is called Fallen Stars. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. A fallen star, if you refer to an asteroid as a fallen star, then maybe, yeah, gray is an appropriate color. But other other than that, I don't know. Um, Yeah, gray base, shimmer, uh, hollow and shredded multi-chrome flakies. Love, love, love the whole collection, which I am, of course, going to swatch on the channel. And I'm also gonna swatch the thermal trio with a little, you know, thermal um, presentation where you can figure out uh, how these, you know, change colors uh, if, you know, when the temperature changes. Woo, blank. Good, so there's more stuff to go through. Let's press on.